I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Hey. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Please help. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. Blake, stop that. Immediately. Let go of me. You... You have no right! <laughs> Dang, Blake, well played on kill, boy. <laughs> yeah, no patience. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. Ooh. What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this shit right now! It's crazy, man. You can't do him like that. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Oh, got me. What's all that arm and got me? My blade was about to beat the mud out of him, but I had to stop him real quick. I had to chill out. 
Look, it had to be good because I ain't going to be on bad. Cause you probably can do it again and be bad. Cause. Cause I did that electricity when I was in that factory. I did I did it again. I beat it this time. I got more words on my phone. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. I knew he would. I had a feeling he might have been the origami killer. I knew it would. It look kind of my man Law and Order. Law and Order. And kind of like Lifetime, how the, how the camera close to their face and put a little music towards it. It's a mommy, yo. I knew Ethan had to be one. I just didn't want to say it during the sport. It's about the show. It's a good storyline. Thursday, 7 a.m. I suck at golf. I tried to do that too. We got, we got one down here in Greenville, South Carolina. Oh snap! Two. I got two of them. So I don't. I might be the hero or something. Big stick, little ball. Never could see the point of this game. I was nice shot. You. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh no, thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. I hear that thing like type of woods, boy. Stop playing. Hold on. The balls I are in that basket. Dang. I wonder if I get ready to get the, like do the motion. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Okay. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I tried to, it don't happen. Dang. I must have messed up. I must have let go too soon. Boom, I'm assuming boom. you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. I'm here. I'm here for this time. I'm here for. I'm gonna test this thing. Go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. My you know. son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. That's when we had beat up. That's when we met. That you have party. no business investigating my son. I told you he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. How far I got? Awesome. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? A billion. I think billion. you misunderstood me. <laughs> I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. I ain't scared of you, Kramer. Come on. Mad now.
<laughs> he didn't do that, he hurt you. If you guys enjoyed the video so far, then please like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're getting straight into this. Ethan, I knew he had to be that uh, origami killer. I knew he was. I said I had a feeling he was. But I didn't want to say nothing though. You know what I mean? Thursday, 7.47 a.m. Rats and L boy. I don't think it's safe to be in here. I don't think it's safe, but Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. I broke you. Ain't that get it? Nah, no, no. It's another one though. Why do keep showing these over here? Like, like it got something in it or something. I'm shake it. Oh, it's something in this one. It's a key. It's a key in this one. Gotta be. Yup. Money. Let's go. That had be a key in it. Oh, I hate when the camera moves like that. I don't even know how to adjust it in time. I need to go here for This is suspicious. I remember something like that. This guy video for me. First play. Let's see what video this is. What they got for me? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. Ooh. If you succeed, you will get your reward. He a tripping. <laughs> Gotta find a sharp object, something that'll make a clean cut. I don't want to have to start hacking away at it. Yeah, that's right. You tripping? Do your pinky. I don't think you need your pinky. You have to do it. Oh lord, I can't do that. So they try to play. They think this is a game or something. They try to play like Saw. I don't like that. I'm scared, man. Oh, the ass right there. I ain't see that ass. Stand back up. What's that on the ground back there? Man, that's crazy. Oh, I see the pliers right there too. It thinks the game was all man. That's ridiculous. You have four minutes and thirty seconds left. Do I really gotta do this or are they just testing me? Why is there so many sharp objects everywhere? It's just meant to happen. I think I saw one in here too. I gotta go get that real quick. Man, I can't really gotta cut your arm off. You're gonna do something about ass when you get done with this, but you're gonna be hurting. You're gonna be hurting, bro. Let's go. What am I talking about now? If you think you want something kind of quick, pliers are taking long. You gotta, you gotta bend it and crack it off. You get an axe, you just go ahead and do that. You get a saw, you gotta go. Get I, I'm gonna get this right here. This is the best routine to get. You have four minutes left. Man, this is tough. He 
Is he really gonna do it though? Do it, try it. Woo! Oh snap! This like some song for real. Or like, or that movie there. Um, Truth or Dare. Oh, I missed up. I missed up. I missed up. Hold on. Huh? If I stop, I think I'll fail. It ain't let me do it. It ain't let me hit it. It ain't let me hit it. It ain't let me do it. I'm trying to do it too. Let's go, let's go. Got it. Got three minutes left. You have three minutes and thirty seconds left. Ooh, I'm so scared for you, bro. I can't do that. I ain't brave enough that my hands get cut off on me. Ain't no way. You know, so that's a sight, you have to do it. But I'll be mad. Under the desk. It was under this the whole time. Wow, I wonder why you had to do it then. I may do it again and see if I had to do it. And I might probably record it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna let the whole time go out. I think I was gonna fail if I didn't do it though. See, I got my words already. Can we do the other mission? Oh, that's Roosevelt Street. Well, I'm trying to spell. It's like, hey man, I already found it. Man, that's crazy. Lost his pinky. I think I would have failed if I didn't cut it though. It was right just the whole time, so I wonder if I could still did it. But man, that was crazy right there. I'm not gonna count. Good go thing. Dang, boy, I feel bad for that. Like, it don't hurt. You really see that. You actually see how the, the fit, see how bad he was screaming, how bad he was like, he was like, he was real life. Bad. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Oh, 
I see what kind of car he ride. I saw him leaving one day. She liked it, I don't know. I've got to warn Ethan. Oh. oh you, I hate when the camera do that, okay? It messed me up. Let me turn around. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? A solution. Wait for a go on my word. Hold on, hold on, where we go? Oh, hey, okay. Come on, girl, you got this. To me, there's a box right here. Nope, that's all. Uh, here we go. Ready on my go. Oh, it's nice. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming uh, with you. Uh -oh. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Sure, hurry up. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, let's go this way. Hurry up, Ethan. Why are you hurry now? But dang. <laughs> We're out of time. Don't move! I'll shoot! Come on! Quick! I can't. Hands in the air! Oh, shit. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! <laughs> the subway. You gotta stop the television. We gotta keep pushing, bro. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, so. Damn, that's crazy. She's like a G for that. I think I went the wrong way. I did. She went that way. Busted low. Uh oh, we're out of time. Come on. Hurry, hurry. Let's go. I almost got caught right now. I went the wrong way. I went right around and made it. Dang, that's crazy. Where we going now, though? Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? We've got to keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. Go straight ahead. All right, say this. I'm gone. Wait. What's the love? No. That way. The right one? I gotta go that way? I don't even know where I gotta go right now. I might get caught right here. You got the way. If you ain't wrong, how much we got all that blood on his hand like that? You not worried about that? Oh, they tripping. They not getting away. It's your warrior, man. God damn it, watch where you going, motherfucker! <laughs> Hey, watch it, man! Police! Stop or I'll shoot! He ain't shooting now. There are people right here. 
Oh, it really got the win, man. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm about to jump now. Quick, quick, Ethan, quick, it's gonna hit us. God. Oh, hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Oh. Ooh, that was close. We've got to get on that train, Ethan. That was. It's so our close. only chance. <laughs> How did she even hear a good guy in there? She helped him like that. It's crazy. And she a warrior right there. That's a keeper. He lost him. I know why they mad. That was crazy though. He had to cut his pinky off though. Dang, that's crazy. That was really cool. I like the storyline so far. Hope I like this too. Less that than is, an hour like ago, we heard from the out. police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I, I sometimes have these blackouts, times where I don't know what I'm doing, as if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies, the bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I would love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Dang. 
He has not been rude to her, man. I really talk. She, he tripping now. You think I get this together? So him, he he got two personalities. So he bipolar too. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know how he's the right way or not, but it seems like it would be. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. He hiding himself. That's what he doing. So they all obstacles for his stuff to um the um beat to complete. Man, that's crazy. Might be dead for then. Cutting his finger off. Long way road. Let's kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. Dang. Yeah, I was good to do that. What he crazy? But let's get this story mode. Is nice, man. I hope I like this stuff. I like it. It's different, but I like it. I like how it plays. I like where it's flowing. I like how it's going right now. I don't know why. But I just like it. I just like the way the story go. I don't hear that. What's going on? I ain't hear that, man. What's wrong with him? You know, I'm like Ray Charles on the piano. What's wrong with him? Oh. I don't hear no music, though. I keep thinking that's the joystick. <laughs> R2, it is. It's the button. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you shoot my sound one or something? I ain't hearing that. Your vodka, oh, sir. Okay, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. Let's stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, not one easy. last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Oh, shoot. That's real talk right there, though. Maybe it's not Ethan. I might be wrong. It seems like it would be him, though. It seems like, sound like it is. I ain't picked this as my background, my desk. I picked the. Uh, it might be them. Oh, I'm picked Oh, let me check my vibe in real quick. I did pick this in my. I, I can't. I did remember that now. I remember that. But I want to change it, though, because I didn't see this a lot. Wait, hold on. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Let's see. Well, that ain't, it's just... A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? No data. Well, 
already did those, didn't I? This is uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Who y'all think it is? Who y'all think is the armor gummy killer? I feel like it is Ethan though. I might be wrong though. Maybe this blackout, he's blackout, but I might be wrong. Where did this come from? Did I already do these right here? These three? Jackson Neville, aka Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. That's true. Dang, I wonder who it is, man. I might be wrong. I feel like Ethan, I'm still gonna go without this out the whole thing. Oh, he's bleeding there, I ain't shaking. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit, it's. it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some. And the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. Oh shit. Where's my face, man? The tube is there. So close. All I have to do is take it, and everything will be fine. What is that? My face. Watch the face, bro. What did it happen? Like it did last time. If I don't take it, what's gonna happen? I really don't want to take it. I want to just take it. Do I have to take it? I need to get rid of it. It's the only way. I'm go. Flush it down the toilet. Is that what I have to do? I need to get rid of it. It's the only way. I'm gonna walk down there. Hey, you can put that toilet on the wall. Holy shoot. It's a fancy toilet. I just see it there? Okay. okay. I ain't telling the mood no more. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna probably do it again. I'm gonna start taking it. That's what happened. This is, you got something? Okay. Detox. Man, this name is so crazy, bro. I like him. He's like my favorite cap. I character on this game. Thursday. Never seen any of you. There she goes. That's him a long time. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. 
What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Oh, sorry. Do an ask? old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. What's so the phone? Okay, I see it. I'll look on. I'll look on the left side. I'll walk. Hello. Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Well, to old friends. And <laughs> Pahoa. You like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's a Stradelli, crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Behind the counter. I went the wrong way. Wow. I mean, I know it was a bathroom, though. Oh, yeah. 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 Thanks. Why are you staring like that? Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. And produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Repair? Place? Are there many places around that could repair one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> you know, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Oh, uh, is it rare? These typewriters, are they rare? 
No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. <laughs> you think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. I wouldn't doubt it, though. It's a bomb, son? Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? How you die? <gasps> oh my god! He's dead. Oh god. How did he die? Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Somebody killed him. You know, he knew too much. Wow. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Damn, that's crazy. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Dang, that's crazy. Somebody had to kill him because he knew too much. See, he probably didn't know the killer. Killer must have been in there one time. That's what that means. The killer was in there. Ooh, I thought there's everything in here, though. I thought there's that. Alright, he drank a bottle. I don't want to touch the bottle, though. But hey, I'll judge it just in case. I'll wipe it down. Gotta hurry up, boy. I'm gonna get out of here, though. We're out of time. Who killed? I want. Dang, that's crazy. I didn't know who was in her. She must have been nearby then. Yeah. He definitely took that little toy. What that little toy? She grabbed it already. She probably should have took that. Touch the door too. We, got, we came and touch the door. We just do everything. We gotta go. 
the window now. I ain't touched it over there. I touched this bathroom door too. Scott, will you give me much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. I'm almost done now, huh, girl. Where did I go? Hey, what else I touch? Uh, I don't know what else I touch right here. I didn't touch nothing over there. There's this window, that's about it. That should be it, right? I'm running out of time. Gotta move faster. We already finished. I already, I already did everything I touched. Police will be here any second. Gotta get out now. Here I go. I wipe everything I touch over there, so we're good. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. I did. I said that. I said it. Hope I ain't forgetting that. The phone. Wow. I did ask the phone. Dang. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only really there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? I know if again, so I couldn't remember what it was. Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage. You'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. I <laughs> wouldn't tell him. That's what that means. Yeah, sure. Then you look back at him. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. Oh, she needs to chill out. What's she doing? She's crazy. If you're not gonna help me find the bastard to kill my Johnny, I'll do it on my own. She did. I feel like it. Reason, remorse, protect. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her.
Lauren! That's cool, yeah. You miss him. I miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Why he been like that, though, man? He needs to stop capping. I'm probably in video right here, man. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm out. Thank you.